Hi, it's Crystal from Crystallized Designs, and today I'm going to show you how to make the Ahuic head wrap. You can use either a bulky or a super, super bulky yarn. You will need an eye hook, you will need a scissors, and a yarn needle. This pattern, like I said, can be, um, you can use bulky or super bulky. If you use the bulky yarn, the height of the head wrap should be about three and a half inches, and the super bulky should be about four inches. But you can use either or. So I have this amazing colorway here. Um, this yarn only has 49 yards in it, so I won't be able to make the adult size, but I'm going to make the one to three year size, and it should come about to be a 15 inch circumference when we're done. There is a specialty stitch to this pattern, and I'm going to go over that. So for the first row, we're going to chain 11. All right. Move my stuff over here a little bit. All right, so I have my chain of 11, and I'm gonna work in the second chain from the hook, and I'm gonna single crochet across. All right, so I have 10 single crochets in the first row. In the second row, I'm going to chain two and turn. If you like to turn and then chain two, you can absolutely do that. I normally chain and then turn. I'm not gonna count that chain as a stitch. So I'm gonna work a double crochet into each stitch across. So I'll end up with 10 double crochets in row two. All right, so I have 10 double crochets now on row two. And for row three, that's where we're gonna work our specialty stitch. So I'll go a little bit slower on row three. You're gonna chain two and turn, or turn and chain two. I'm gonna work two double crochets into the same, the first stitch. And the next stitch that I'm gonna work is the cluster over the next three double crochets. So for the cluster for the directions for that, I'm going to yarn over. I'm going to insert my hook from front to back around the post of the next double crochet. So from front to back, and I'm going to pull up a yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. So I'm doing a, a front post double crochet without finishing the last pull through. Then I'm going to repeat that two more times working over the next two double crochets. So I'm going to yarn over from front to back, work a post double crochet, yarn over and pull through two. I'm going to yarn over, insert around from front to back, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through through, through two. That leaves me with four loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over and pull through all four loops. So that is what the cluster looks from the wrong side. Okay, Okay. so I'm gonna work two double crochets in the next two double crochets. So, two, Ooh, that tail just keeps getting in my way. My ball keeps rolling around my table. I need a yarn bowl up here or something. All right, so I have the two double crochets and the next two double crochets, and then I'm gonna cluster over the next three um, double crochets, pardon me. So I'm gonna yarn over. I'm gonna insert my hook from front to back around the post of that double crochet, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. Then I'm going to repeat, yarn over, insert my hook around the post, yarn over and pull up a loop, pull through two, 
yarn over, insert around the post, and I'll pull through two. Four loops are on my hook, yarn over, pull through all four loops, and that cluster is also done. Now I'm going to work two double crochets into the last stitch. So that will give me 10 stitches across. So that is what the wrong side looks like. So for row four, I'm going to chain two and turn. This is the right side. And I'm going to double crochet in the same and then all the way across. And that will leave me with 10 stitches as well. Alright, so this is the right side of the work. It creates these ridges and the two double crochets and the two double crochets. But working those posts creates this sort of a wave pattern. So I'm just going to repeat row, row 3 and 4 until it measures 15 inches for the 1 to 3 year size, 17 inches for the 3 to 10 year size, and 19 inches for the teen and adult. So, for, I'm just repeating row 3 now, I'm going to turn, chain 2 and turn, work 2 double crochets into the first stitch. This is where I'm going to cluster over the next 3 double crochets. So I'm going to yarn over, post crochet around the first one without finishing, yarn over, post crochet around the second, yarn over, front to back, four loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through all four, two double crochets in the next two stitches, And then I'm going to work another cluster over the next three double crochets. Front to back, front to back, front to back. Yarn over and pull through all four. I'm going to work two double crochets in the last stitch to give me ten stitches across. I'm going to chain two and turn. So again, you can definitely see it with this color change here, this little wave that's caused by the post stitches. And that's how we are just going to keep going until we get the length that we need. So I'm going to continue repeating these and then we'll finish it up. All right, I did have the heart to just go the 15 inches. I did not have the heart to waste any yarn. So this is what I have left after 17 inches. And that is the right side of the piece. So it creates these, the center where it pops out and then these little ridges all right, so with 17 inches, I have made a three to 10 year size now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chain one and I'm gonna turn and I'm gonna match up my right sides. So I want the back without the ridges. So here's the ridges. I'm gonna put my right sides together. And all I'm gonna do, now you can sew this together. You do not have to slip stitch it. I find slip stitching then I can just, I just find it easier. So we're going to slip through, slip stitch through both the beginning chain and the, the stitch in the last row. We're just going to continuously stip, slip stitch all the way across. Now again, you can definitely sew this. You don't have to do it this way. And you can use whichever sewing method that you prefer. This way also, I really, really like just how easy this is. 
All right, and then we're gonna finish off, and that is all the yarn that I have. And we're gonna trim it up just a little. We're gonna weave in our ends eventually, but we can flip it right side out, and that now is the he Hewick head wrap completed. And I really, really like this colorway. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and it was helpful. Please subscribe to the channel and check out all the other free patterns I have on my website and I'll continue adding them to the channel. And I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you. Bye.